a lot of separation between, you know, small firms, big firms, anything like that. I think it'll be kind of a, you know, a kind of a constant movement as society and an industry as a whole. The winner of the Premier League will be using data from a decentralized network. I wouldn't dare to make a real assumption what's going to happen in three years, because three years is a very long time. A prediction based on, you know, your outlook about how this field will change maybe in three years or five years. So right now, there are many things that are variable like AGI, quantum computing, maybe AI native marketplace. So what is your outlook on the future in say three to five years time? There could be a trend towards these models, more and more commoditized. Anyway, these open source models becoming always open to everyone. So the big edge in having, uh, using AI is uh, available always to everyone. And so then the situation would be very different from cases where, you know, you start towards more proprietary models. So all the investments of a company with very deep pockets uh, become to be kept within that company. So this could be something which I don't know what will be, probably the trend is the first one. So everything becomes open source and so on. But I think this it could be a great, it could change things uh, in a way or another, depending on what kind of, of trend it picks up. Now, what are the new innovations that AI model will be able to do? I honestly don't know. Probably it's more in the, the automation of some tasks or not. But honestly, I wouldn't dare to make a real assumption what's going to happen in three years, because three years is a very long time. I think a rising tide lifts all boats. So I do see, you know, as a society and as firms and as an industry, technology increasing. I think it's getting better, but I think we will not see necessarily too much deviation. You'll have new firms come in, you'll see great success, you'll see firms drop out, but I think everyone's kind of adapting across the board. And as we open source things and as things are provided across you know, different funds, we'll continue to see kind of advancements as a whole, but I don't think we'll see a lot of separation between you know small firms, big firms, anything like that. I think it'll be kind of a you know, a kind of a constant movement as society and an industry as a whole. Significant leveling of the playing field for support new entrants coming in for how we start off with the quant strategy to start off with anything to do with quant. I don't think the bigger firms will have an edge, at least in the low to medium frequency strategy space. I believe that AI would be strengthened and grow more in sort of the periphery in a more decentralized networked manner than in inside large firms necessarily. I'm doubling down on that bet. To be super specific, I will say that five years from now, the winner of the Premier League will be using data from a decentralized network on Subnet 44. They'll be using AI to assimilate all the world's information. They'll be using AI for, for player ratings and assessment and so forth. And, you know, rather than prognosticate about the in finance and the buy side specifically, I tend to agree with the major things have become more competitive. I would also point out that things outside of finance are going to start to feel more like finance. We are already instrumenting the world in many different ways and starting to trade it, economic events and so forth. I see the proliferation of prediction markets and things that look like quant trading growing over time.